so oh much. We're still fighting about the Fed. <laughs> Apparently. Welcome back to Outnumbered. Larry Vice Summers. President Joe Biden decides to jump into the 2016 White House race. He has President Obama's blessing. Well, that's according to multiple reports that say that a Biden candidacy was among the topics that they discussed over lunch at the White House yesterday. Then the VP reportedly went on to huddle with some other big names in D.C. Meantime, Mr. Biden has invited some top Democratic Party fundraisers to meet with him after Labor Day. Okay, Kennedy, all signs point to Biden jumping in this race, but he is going to need money. And if he can suck money away from Hillary Clinton, then he could be, I think, pretty powerful. There are a lot of big Democratic donors who have been, uh, they've had whiplash from looking around <laughs> trying to find any alternative to Hillary Clinton. And, you know, so far, Joe Biden does the best job of possibly tanking her coronation. And what I think is mo most interesting, what I'm still stuck on, is that meeting with Elizabeth Warren. Mm -hmm. Because you can only imagine, you know, he's going to kiss her ring. And he's also saying, you know, Bernie Sanders isn't going to do it. No one's going to elect a socialist. He's exciting places like Colorado. Seattle and New Hampshire, that's not going to hold any weight long term. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he says, all right, so what can I do to get your blessing? I know you're not running and I need that progressive left. And uh, I, I can only imagine what will come out of that. Not only that, Harris, you brought this up yesterday on the couch. Could they be discussing not only Warren's base of support, but a, pos a possible ticket? And Charles Krauthammer said yesterday that would be the dream ticket. And Biden could end up running and giving the message I think that the party wants to hear. I mean, he will outflank, I believe, Hillary on the left if he gets in. Well, and I, you know, the other thing that we're kind of hearing people beat the drums about is the fact that maybe Joe Biden gets in and he just does one term. Um, his age is coming up in some circles. Yes. He'll be in his 80s at that mm -hmm. second term point. Um, so within the Democratic Party, they have to be looking at that and health and all of that kind of stuff. And, and whether or not that's fair game, um, it's part of the conversation. But what Elizabeth Warren does is she brings that energy, that heat, that populist message that he doesn't have right now because he's still inside the White House. And if he doesn't <laughs> run after a single term. He still term. has a job. If I'll he doesn't run after a single term, then he's obviously handing the mantle to her you know, by bringing I, her I, along. I, you talk about I talk a carrying to, on of legacy, she would be the one. Charlie, talk about the money. Where I talk do you to think money, money guys all the time. I don't hear them saying, I can't get, wait to write a check for Joe Biden. They're not there yet. Um, do they I, say that about Hillary? I mean, they, the yes, Wall Street they still loves that. Hillary Clinton. They right? love her, and, you know, the, not just Wall Street, real estate interests. You know, How concerned sort of, are the big donors on Wall Street about her now candidacy? Now, that's the question. They don't know. And uh, this dance is clearly a stopgap that if you know, the, if the president, then they'll, they'll know something before mm -hmm. we know something. Mm -hmm. Thinks there's like that she can get hit with even a misdemeanor charge, something like Petraeus. Right. I mean, that would do. do I mean, that wasn't a criminal obstruction charge or a criminal charge in terms of you know uh, getting rid of uh, or or sharing confidential uh, emails or whatever or confidential information. That was a. a I don't misdemeanor. even think we have to get to that point. I don't think you cut a two-week vacation yeah. in the Hamptons short and come back. Tomorrow is the day she's going to Ohio. Remember, she was yep. going to be in that Hamptons house that's. Uh, hundred thousand well. dollars for two weeks through next week right. well, now we she's not doing that getting back on the campaign that's different trail. that's a political question the question is legally can she survive a misdemeanor charge like Petraeus and a lot of people think that's in the cards that that's the problem that and she you don't faces. think legally, her getting out ahead of that message she helps cannot. she cannot survive a charge if, which if is she's charged with a crime I don't think it matters. She will which not is survive. why Sandra yeah, it I looks like it they could be positioning a Biden run now right. historically vice presidential candidates they, they have won in the past, mm -hmm. but they don't make the best candidates. Now, in this case, if he partnered with a Warren and he had the backing of the White House, he might be able to pull it off. Yeah. Well, it's first of all, I just want to say John Mack, uh, for, former chairman of Morgan Stanley, came out firmly in support of, uh, of Hillary Clinton last week, even when right. all those challenges were posed to him. He's still a big supporter, just showing Wall Street still supporting her. Uh, but I would be curious, Andrew, what you would say, if Joe Biden does make a run, what are going to be the central policies and what will he focus on from the last eight years as touting success uh, from his administration. Well, look, this is the same administration that said that the economy was soaring and shoved it in our face just a couple months ago. The record stock market. He is better <laughs> off to preserve the Obama legacy, which is all Obama cares about, than Hillary Clinton would. The Clintons, will, the Clintons will triangulate. They will turn on Obama in a general election. Obama knows that. Yeah. Biden will just say, we've done a lot of good things. Biden will say, I was the first right. one to come out you for know, gay marriage. He will rally the base and rally. Well, hey, look, at his, look at his 2012 convention speech. 
know, he, was the, he was the one ushering. who said Osama bin Laden is dead and GM is alive. I, and, I'm, uh, I'm older than you guys, this, and I remember this guy running in the past. A he lot was older. Not a lot older. He was not a good <laughs> candidate. He was accused of plagiarism in the past. Stealing right, and he has talked he, about he, that. He, oh. and, and, and people call him the gaff master. So I'm just saying he is not. He is not a savior. If this is what they're relying on. Is plagiarism, Donald, though, when you put have, that up against have, what, what's going on with Hillary have, Clinton, potentially? I guess that's what voters way, will look at. Like. Speaking Biden, of Hillary, Joe, Donald on. Trump. <laughs> as this, as some political analysts say, that Joe Biden could actually help Hillary Clinton, they argue that it would force her to step up her game and help shift the focus of the race away from her email scandal. One piece saying, quote, Give her a real democratic race, a la what she experienced in the spring of 2008 when Clinton trailed Barack Obama, and it'll force her to be a stronger candidate. Biden jumping in would also swap the scandal, yeah. focus coverage of Clinton, and replace it with horse race focused coverage. Okay, Sandra, the Clintons have always believed that they do very well with an enemy. However, I don't know about this in the long run. I do agree, though, in the short term, Biden would take the eyes off of her we scandal. I agree. And that was the point that, about this that stuck with me the most. Is anything to distract and detract from what's going on with Clinton's scandal after scandal? It is the front page of every newspaper. It continues to be anything to get rid of. I think Joe Biden would clearly do that and be a major player. Yeah, and I agree, I, I agree with you. Short term, he does that. You know, he takes that off the front page. He turns her into a candidate, which is what she desperately needs. But also yesterday, you know, I was watching all all of this uh, coverage about the stock market and I was wondering we see Carly Fiorina, Chris Christie, mm -hmm. Mike Huckabee, Donald Trump all responding to the market. I don't remember hearing a thing from her and if she's, she's going in the to be Hamptons. president she's in the Hamptons. until tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I was hey, saying. you know what? Suspend your vacation. Like, so, if she so, is. Kind of, <laughs> it starts let's, tomorrow. Let's play this out. So you say Biden is going to run and he's not going to mention you know these emails or any of this stuff. Is that realistic? No. Well, it has been for Bernie Sanders, and he well, got 28,000 people I know, in an but event I just to come wonder, out. If he really wants to be president, if you really want to be president, not right you away have because to, you have he'll to get bring surrogates. A he'll he'll do what campaigns do. Harris, when your enemy is setting themselves on fire, you step back. You don't handle the gasoline. You just get the popcorn and watching this one. But I want to talk a little bit about <laughs> what President. Well, that's what I do. Um, what President Obama is going to do? This takes the heat off him a little bit. He doesn't have to make a choice. He doesn't have to get involved in this. If he wants to behind the scenes back of Joe Biden. He can. But this does take the heat off President I, I Obama. I thought it was very telling. You know, some of the images that were coming from President Obama's vacation recently. Usually we see him as a working vacation. He's on a bike. He's swinging golf. the club. I mean, he's been more relaxed over the last week and a half or two weeks than we might have seen him in recent years. Have you ever had a I vacation think, that relaxing? Well, I've, I've seen, seen her you photos, always have yes. to be tapped in. Whoa. It was interesting. He was playing golf with, so, with Robert Wolf, the former right? chairman of yep. UBS, who's a huge Democratic contributor. They were clearly talking about... My, my point with saying that is that he may have already reached a determination that we don't know about. He seemed rather at peace on that. We do know that he had a meeting with Joe Biden. We do know that they met on their regular monthly uh, Monday meetings or weekly Monday meetings yesterday. We would love to have been a fly on the wall at that one. Um, but, you know, it just seems like if he's going to get his ducks in a row, he's offered Joe Biden a, an opportunity to bring some of his people with offices into the White House. I, I don't know. You, you also don't hear Josh Ernest falling all over himself defending Hillary Clinton. Yeah. In his Who's asking conference. him about that at the press And by board? the way, if right. he would right. come Who's out asking him? for some reason Nobody. and endorse Joe Biden, they've got to be careful because that would look like the glass ceiling, those two men preventing Hillary Clinton well, again think, from I getting Well, I think this is a stopgap, and he's worried that it's going to have, that, that Hillary right. may face a charge. Mm -hmm. Well, That's Obama gave about. her a job. I don't think he has to really worry about that. By the way, real quick, they're not exactly the face of, the, of diversity, the Democratic Party. Three yeah, white no senior sense. citizens. I think the GOP oh. is doing better this time around. At least they're not ageist. That's true. <laughs> Imagine dropping your teenage daughter off at college for the very first time and seeing signs like this hanging outside a frat house. Oh, my dad would have put me back in the RV and taken me home. Was it all a big joke or a sexual harassment that should be punished? We'll debate it.